hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm showing you how to create a poster with canva.com if you don't know about this website check out my last video my second last video actually titled how to create a logo i covered some of the basics of canva on that video which i may not cover again on this so watch that it's a continuation of the same uh, so today i'm going to show you how to create a poster and i'll just go straight to that i hope you had a chance to explore all the designs you can create with canva in that week if you haven't it's okay you still got time go explore check out the designs check out what you can create it's going to be fun so my layouts are on the left as you can see my designs the ones i can choose from and as i mentioned last week uh, always check the design at the bottom right corner you have this sign it's either a dollar sign or it's a free mini free banner on the bottom right if it has a dollar sign it means you can edit that design but you cannot download it without paying for it if it has a free banner it means you can edit and download for free so if you don't want to pay for the design always make sure you edit one that has a free banner on the bottom right so I'll look for a design we can use. Let's see. And don't get tired of scrolling to the bottom. <laughs> there are lots of really cool designs in here. So explore, explore, explore. And if you're looking for something with an image background like this, you can always tell if it's an image background or a color background. Something like this. Uh, the ones with the color backgrounds means you can't change that for an image or rather the design works well if it's not an image background because they've already given you a color background which you can play around with uh, but if you want an image background also always make sure to pick one with an image background like this you can work with this so i'll take this with an image background then i'll use my own image Again, if you want to upload an image to Canva, you just click upload, then upload your own image. Click this button right here. But I already have the image I'm going to use, so I'll just drag and drop it to my design. I think I've clicked on this accidentally, yeah. You just close this. So I'll just drag and drop my image, and it will pick in the background. okay so the image is has picked up then you can double click on the image to reposition it if you want to focus on a specific part of the image or the poster just double click on it then you can drag to reposition depending on what you want to highlight then just click the tick right here okay once the image is well positioned then I'll show you a few things you can do with the image. First, you can add a filter to the image. So make sure you've selected the image, then click filters. There are usual normal uh, filters like you have on your phone. If you take an image, you know, the normal selfie slash normal photo filters is what Canva has as well. Okay, so here we go. These are some of the filters you can use. Just click on any, see how it works with your poster. If you like it, you can try them all one by one. See if you like uh, one specific filter, then you can use it for your poster. I won't be using mine with a filter, so I'll show you some of the other things you can also do. You can increase or decrease the brightness of the image. For example, if you want the text to stand out a bit more than the image, you can reduce on the brightness, as you can see, so that it stands out a bit more. The contrast, you can play around with that, see what that does. Uh, and you have, if you click on advanced options, you have a few more options, things you can do. You can tint it, you can, you can increase the blur and a lot of other cool stuff so with this i want you to just try them out see what each element does to the image and see what works for you what you like and what you don't like but these are some of the ways you can edit the image so try them out see how well they work for you and see what each of them does 
Now you can also crop your image. I will not be doing that because mine fits. Yeah, just right. So I won't be cropping it. But you can also crop your image. You can flip it. Show you how that looks like. See if you want it to face the other side or upside down. You can flip your image depending on where you want it to face. So there's also spacing, which is basically just spacing it from spacing your image from the margin. Uh, this is what that looks like. Let me just show you. There we go. So you can space it from the margin. Or you can leave it as is. I'll just leave this as it was. I think it was at 10. Yeah, that should be good. So those are some of the things you can do with your image. Now we'll move to the text. I'll just edit this. I had shown you what you can do with the text, the various ways you can edit the text. So I won't dwell on that too much on this video. If you haven't checked it out, again, check out my video on how to create a logo. It has those best. Okay, so what are we calling this? Um, it is the season after all, so hit me up for some deals, deals, deals. Yeah. <laughs> So Jambi's Christmas deals. Mm, then I'll edit the second element. Mm, main and hosting. need to shorten that a bit it's become too long I don't want to spoil the general design so I'll remove this make it a bit shorter and you can stretch this to have the text fit on one line and I'll just expand the yellow background as well which i'll change color soon there mm, we just put a contact here Yeah, and I'll make this a bit more bold because I want them a bit bigger and people to be able to read it. And the same with this. Ah, it's already bold. Okay. Turn it to black. Stand out a bit more. And then change my background to my brand colors which for Jambi's solutions is pink, black, and white. Change this to pink. Just input the color code because I know what it is. All right, so it's already starting to come to life but the hmm. then if the text is clear enough the white is kind of disappearing in the background so we might need to do something about that but before we do let me put my logo and this is what i meant by branding your designs i want to put my logo with this
on my designs. There we go. Oh, let's put it down here. Can be seen over there. Actually, I think I'll go with the white version. It works better with this design. There we go. And you can use the arrow keys to move uh, the object. You can also use the normal shortcuts, for example, Control Z to undo and so on. All right, so I think that's good. So I need to change and I'll put this a bit higher to avoid overcrowding the bottom area. Now, something else I want to show you. Uh, if you have two elements and you don't want, uh, you want to move them together, you don't want them to misalign, you can group them. And the way you do that is you select one. I'll start with the outer one. Select one, then hold shift and click on the second one. They're both selected, then come and say group. That way, now when I move them, let me just click outside. Now when I move them, they should move together. So we'll just move them a bit higher. Okay, so there we go. Trying not to overcrowd the bottom area. Make this a bit bigger. Then something else also I want to show you is if you have, for example, like I have, if you have three lines of wordings and you think they are too close together, you can always use spacing here for the words. So you can do line height, increase the space in between the words if they're too close together. And you can also do letter spacing. If I want to decrease, for example, this one, just reduce the letter spacing hmm, too close together but you get the point there we go so you can increase or decrease the letter spacing same thing with the line height you can increase or decrease it increase this a bit yeah so that's another cool thing you can do with the text and don't be afraid to explore people <laughs> explore this tool it has some really cool features just get on try something anything then i can do i can make it okay i don't want to make it transparent but it's also an option if i wanted to just explore some of these extra features because i can't cover every single thing unfortunately because these videos are turning up longer than I expected <laughs> and I don't do too long of a video might not serve its purpose so I still feel like jambies this is a bit unclear so I want to do some filters on my image maybe add some blur or tint Let's see what works. Or I can just reduce on the brightness actually. Because I want my text to stand out a bit more. So I'll just reduce on the brightness. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, that's a bit better. So, there I do have my poster. I've done a simple one, but the concept is all the same. Uh, editing, playing around with the 
with the text with the images and the colors and also something else i should show you if you want to add uh, some new text a new text box uh, other than what you have just click on text pick something you like then click on it it will appear on your image or just drag and drop then if you go to the very bottom of this text options there are some cool hmm, what do i call them text designs let's just say here we are some colored stuff some cool text designs if you want to use them for your promos I'm sure you can find a way to use them something like this so if you scroll that you'll find some cool texts at the bottom you can add elements fit shapes just click elements go to shapes check out what they have see that you can add it to your design if it's frames just click on it see what they have again you can add that to your design so i think i've so yeah check out the website explore explore if there's anything else you want me to cover that i have not covered on this please let me know i would be glad to do another video if you have questions again please let me know i'll just download this so that you see what it looks like and i'll download it as an image instead of pdf so that you see what it looks like if you have any questions about how to create any of these designs please let me know in the comment section drop your comments give me your feedback on the video was it helpful for you uh, let me know let me know what you thought let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover on this and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it there's a design it's not so bad it's not so bad <laughs> i've done something just simple but there's a design if you enjoyed this don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one ciao